Ready? Come on. <laughs> I still want to talk to you. Come on, let's get. Well, as you can see, we've had some rain, which we could really, really have done without, as far as harvest is concerned. Um, I spoke to the fellow last night and he said, we've got about a third of our wheat off. Um, it was ready to harvest two weeks ago, but the weather and machinery breakdowns and stuff else has kind of thwarted us a bit. <sighs> Today and tomorrow is going to be wet. So harvest is kind of written off, but that gives the guys time to fix the combine. Apparently it threw a pulley yesterday. Um, I don't know if that's just a pulley broken or a woodruff key gone or bolt sheared or, or quite, quite what went wrong. But hopefully, touch wood, we'll be back up and running for Monday, Tuesday. So weather forecast for next week is good. Um, not Scorchio or you know, blazing sunshine, but good, good enough to harvest. So provided the wheat doesn't start to shoot on the plant, or chit as it's known, spelt C-H-I-T, no S in it, um, we can hopefully get away with it. I mean, we're not going to be producing milling wheat, that's for sure now. It is going to be feed wheat, so the value is going to be down on what would have been nice. I'm not sure what um, feed wheat price is at the moment. Um, my missus has just come back with Farmers Weekly, so I could go and look it up. But um, yeah, so if we can get it in next week before it starts to break out and chip, then um, then it won't be a dead loss. But it's not going to be not going to be our finest year, right? Give these birds a bit of breakfast. He's come back again this year. Nice to see it. Latiporus sulfurus, or um, otherwise known as chicken of the woods. So that's edible. Maybe I can put that in a frying pan later on. Or just let them get a bit bigger. Wet, or moist anyway. Dry. Phase one of the extension barn kind of finished. Um, I gave Tim a hand the other day just to get the um, ridge sheets on. Uh, the concrete panels are all ordered, but we have been told it could be a few weeks for them to come. There's not a lot I can do with levelling up in here until the panels arrive and are fitted. Um, in the meantime, I think we're going to get the two legs for both ends um, made, knocked up and set in the ground and then we'll add, add our cleats for the concrete panels to go in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six panels to go in here because there's a leg, middle leg both ends. And then we'll have gates across there and across there. Um, up that side, the left hand side will be basically a mirror of that side, so Yorkshire boarding. And what I said is I want a full size opening door up there um, so if we have like a load of hay on the trailer or something I've got the means if I want that I can actually get it in here in the cover because that'll be in the summer when there's no stock or anything else in here so right still got to sort this gutter out so it is running right and it's going down that pipe so I kind of need to get that finished we have got to uh, open the hole up here to a four or five inch hole in the uh, valley gutter to connect into this fella. Uh, right now, the drainage is literally going to go down the old land drain because it's got nowhere else to go. But I haven't closed the trench down there yet because I need to go on out into the field with some perforated pipe 
and um, connect up to a bigger land drain that's actually out in the ground there. So I know roughly where that is, just not exactly. Hmm. There's a burning task that needs doing, and it's been wanting doing for a couple of weeks, and I'm just wondering whether I bite the bullet and just do it on my own today. I need to wean these calves. Not really a job I want to do on my own. Oh, well, I can move that, I suppose. But it's got to be done soon. If not this weekend, by next weekend, this must be done. Right, we're almost there. I'm just tidying up and cleaning out stuff, ready to open that gate and that gate and let them in here the cattle will come in all by themselves i don't have i won't have to call them the second they open that gate if they spot me they'll be in here um i am going to put a couple of bells in that feeder uh the plan is if it all goes plan it's supposed to be a better day tomorrow if i can get the cattle in tonight um and shut them in i will see if i can separate the calves and the cows myself tomorrow if i can do that then i will Hopefully I can load them as well um, tomorrow. Um, get Put the cows back outside with the calves in here. The calves are more likely to run at the race because they think they're going to mum, but they're going at the trailer and blah, 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 all that. So if I can, we'll wean the calves tomorrow. Um, tonight, I'm out reaping the rewards of my little side bet with the funky farmer on the bale challenge where I just, just whipped him. Uh, unwrapping three bells at his place so the the forfeit was whoever lost that to do a barbecue for the winner there's no winners or losers i mean if anything richard was the winner in this because fair play to him um he got a lot of kudos for uh, setting that up and it kind of went around the world brought folks together we had a bit of fun a bit of friendly competition but yeah that's tonight we're going down there having a barbecue hopefully i'm taking a couple of daughters um Mrs. P might come with us, but I kind of doubt it because she's been laid up with a migraine this morning and that tends to knock her out for 24 hours. Um, so if she's not feeling 100%, I doubt she'll come. But um, yeah, we'll be going down to see uh, Richard and Sam later on and we'll be having a barbecue at their expense. Although I might take a sausage or, or maybe some steak. We'll see. Right, until then... I need to get those two out, sort these couple of gates out, a couple of bells in there, cattle can come in. They know something's going on. Then you? you know something's going on. Not yet. You'll have to wait a bit longer.
still there to live for. Right, we had a bale of silage fall off the stack a month or so back and got a bit damaged, so it might just as well use it up. Only one bit, I think so. And the idea isn't to keep the cattle in yet. Um, once I've got um, them shut in, well then yes maybe, but for today they're going to be free to come and go as they please. Although I would imagine a bit of dry bed for a change. They'll probably stay in here for most of the day. We'll see. Okay. Let's shut that one. And we better shut that one. Is there something you wanted? Do you want to come in? Check, check. Good to go. Come on then.
That's oh. everybody. Oh, where's my chain gone? Should be a chain around that. I need to hold that gate back for today. I have to steal a chain from somewhere. Even a bit of string today will do. Not what I normally use, but farmer's best friend. Hello, girl, how are you? Right, that's latched, chained. Everybody happy? These are two of our new youngsters, I think, so um, still a little bit flighty, but being as with everybody else, nowhere near as bad as they used to be. Uh, everybody seems to be quite happy. And the greedy guts are enjoying the bale of silage, so. That's actually a bale from last year, from to the farm. I think that came from what we call the showground. So we've got 20, what? 24 bales of that left out there. Well, 23 now, we just used one. Um, plus the 188, I think we've got out of the farm. So once the buildings are finished, um, we will look at starting to bring some of that home. Uh, we've got a barn full of hay, but I would like a bit more here, just in case sod's law, we get six foot of snow and I can't get over there to fetch it. Um, we'll bring some home. So yeah, a few more trips back and forth. Or I might even get someone to transport some for me because I could actually get someone to bring it from there to here. I think it's about 30 quid. It's probably nearly cheaper than me going and getting it. Beefy boy. Looking forward to you. Mm -mm. There's always a couple of bullies and they've usually got horns. Right. I'm going to leave them to it, let them settle down. They're secure, safe, happy. I've been moaning about getting in there for weeks. Um, we still haven't cleaned it out yet. It needs to be cleaned out, but I think we're going to end up now probably just mucking out straight into the spreader and straight out the field. So uh, we're hoping, or I've offered the 10 acres over the road for some sheep grazing for a neighbor of ours. So I think the plan is, is if we can, I've got to work out what these new rules are with muck spreading, but I think we're okay with the solid stuff. For now is um, I'll get that chewed off up there, give it a week just to recover a little bit and then bang some muck on there. If it stays dry, maybe chuck the harrows over it as well. All depends on what the weather does. For all these things we want to do, whether we can.